Hello, my name is Dr. Eric Fuentes and I am a breast surgeon. If you're watching this video, chances are either you or somebody close to you has been asked to see a breast surgeon because of the presence of a breast lump. I understand this can be a very stressful time. And this is the reason I have made this video, to help inform you of what to expect from your first consultation. My first piece of advice is that you bring a support person with you to all your consultations. There can be a lot of information to process, unfamiliar words, and it might be difficult to think straight, especially if you're worried and upset. Your support person is welcome to ask questions and take notes so that you can refer to later. When it comes to your appointment, your surgeon will need to examine your breasts. They should provide you with a privacy screen where you can remove your top and your bra. If you have been unable to bring a support person, feel free to ask for a chaperone if this will make you more comfortable. They will then examine using their hands to feel for the size, shape and location of the lump and also to make sure that nothing else has been missed. Unfortunately, this will feel like an intrusive examination. However, it is a vital part of our assessment and it helps us formulate our plan. It is likely that you will be referred for further tests. This will include an ultrasound, a mammogram, a tomosynthesis, which is a bit like a 3D mammogram, a biopsy, or even an MRI. These tests are designed to get more information about the lump, either to reach a definitive diagnosis or to rule cancer out. The intervening days can be a worrying time for you, so please look after yourself and try not to think too far ahead. Chances are you'll be fine. Ultrasound is the least intrusive of these tests. If you have ever had a baby, then chances are you will have had an ultrasound during your pregnancy. This is a similar process. It involves the technician using a probe with gel that they glide over the surface of the skin, during which time they acquire some images. Mammograms use low-dose x-rays to take an image of your breasts. The technician will place your breast onto a glass plate and then they will compress your breast to gather the images. They may need to do this on multiple angles and repeat the process a number of times. I'm sorry to say, but some women find the compression during mammography somewhat uncomfortable, especially if you have large breasts or dense breasts, but it's all fast and the information that we gather from this is important. Take a deep breath. It's worth it. Another test you may be recommended is a tomosynthesis. This is a 3D version of a mammogram. However, the process is not as uncomfortable as it requires less compression. The different forms of imaging only tell us that there is a lump. It doesn't actually tell us what this lump is made of. To get a definitive diagnosis, we need a tissue sample, and this is what we call a biopsy. Unfortunately, this procedure can be painful and stressful. I recommend that you take two Panadols about half an hour before your procedure. Also, have somebody drive you there and back because you will be uncomfortable and a little bit sore after the process. Just so you know, the device that takes the tissue sample does make a loud banging noise and it can be startling. For some women, your surgeon will recommend that you have an MRI. MRIs are by far the most accurate diagnostic tool we have for detecting breast cancer. The procedure is straightforward. You lay face down on a bed with space for your breasts. If you're claustrophobic, it is very important that you let the technician know. The bed will slide into a machine that looks very much like a giant washing machine. It also makes a lot of strange loud noises during the acquisition of the images. Good luck with your diagnosis and I sincerely hope that you're cancer free. However, if you do get bad news, my heart goes out to you. And I won't lie to you, you're in for a rough few months. But let me reassure you that in Australia we have some of the world's best cancer cure rates with over 90% of women going on to 
make a good long-term recovery.